Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on the comparison between real gas and ideal gas behavior and why high temperature and low pressure would create an environment where a real gas can approach ideal gas behavior. So first of all, we need to remember what the difference is between a real gas and an ideal gas. So a real gas, particles actually do have volume. Ideal gas says that they don't, reality is they do, which would cause an issue for why they wouldn't be able to behave the same way. Additionally, ideal gas assumes that there's no attraction between particles. In reality, there are. If you have polar molecules, they would be very much more attracted to one another. So that means that these conditions here have to counter the issues in one way or another. So let's first consider high temperature. So when you have high temperature, you're going to have faster motion. So if you consider that these particles are now moving very quickly, there's not going to be much opportunity for them to interact with one another, which then helps us deal with this issue. If they're moving too quickly to interact, we don't have to worry about that hiccup along the way, which is one of the big reasons that there's such a discrepancy between the two of them. So faster motion, motion means lower interactions. Now let's look at the case of our low pressure. So what low pressure ultimately means is that we have few moles within the container. So to have low pressure at high temperatures, you can't have very many molecules within the container. If you have few, few molecules within this container, then that would mean the space that they take up or their volume is negligible, which then helps us with this postulate right there. Additionally, if you have few moles in the container, there are not going to be so many of them that they would be able to interact. So this here also helps with that case. And that is why high temperature, low pressure are good conditions for real to be ideal.